Have you ever seen a company that seems to have just popped up out of nowhere? Have you ever wondered how time and time again, these small companies will outcompete the giants? Well, in today's video, we're gonna talk about the exact strategies that efficient startups use to gain traction fast and scale. Specifically, we're gonna break down the two-step process that all successful startups use. One, how they use a simple system to organize their leads, and two, how they can automate that system to not touch it and still be making money. If all that sounds good to you and you wanna get more leads, more booked calls, and less people dropping out of your funnel, then stick around to the end of this video. If you're new here, my name is Nick Cornelius. I'm the founder of Simplest Scale. We've saved our clients over a million dollars with custom AI and automation solutions. And I actually discovered this concept about eight or nine months ago when we started working with our first clients. At the time, I was doing all of my follow-ups manually and didn't understand how to systematize my processes correctly. But I wanna tell you a story because anybody can do this. A year and a half ago, I worked full-time as a chemist in the pharmaceutical industry. I went into work every day, worked eight to 10 hours, and was stuck in a repetitive routine. And it was okay, but I never felt like I had an end goal in my career. I was just going through the motions and hoping that one day I would make a lot of money. But as we all know, that's not how it goes. You have to be a self-starter. And at the time, I was only making $55,000 a year which is crazy to think about because now our agency does that in about a month. But it wasn't until I discovered ChatGPT and the creator economy that my life started to change. As many of you know, ChatGPT came out in November of 2022. And the week that it came out, I thought it was so revolutionary that it would change the world in the next six months. And so because of that, I decided to share my enthusiasm over TikTok, which I didn't know what I was doing at the time, but the goal was to make money from my phone. So with that in mind, I started creating content, but I was getting zero views. But after a couple months of trial and error, some of my AI videos started to take off. I was getting thousands of views, but I wasn't making any money from it. That's when I realized I need to come up with some sort of offer. And at the time, I was reading this book called The 4-Hour Workweek by Tim Ferriss, and he explains how to use automation and virtual assistants to build a profitable business by only expending four hours a week. And while reading that book, I realized nobody is creating automations with AI. It was a gap in the market and I had the opportunity to fulfill it. And it's so new that you can do the same. Now, fast forward to getting my first client. Being a full-time content creator, editing, having a full-time job, and being a full-time developer is a lot of work. So obviously I had to be efficient in the way that I spend my time. And what I realized is the same automations I could build for my clients, I can build them for myself. So that's how I came out with this two-step system to automate my sales process. And it's the same process you can use to get more things done in a shorter amount of time. So how does this work? We're going to build out what most companies call a CRM. And what a CRM or a customer relationship management tool does is it organizes all of your leads and contacts and categorizes them by where they are at in your sales cycle. When used effectively, a CRM pushes your potential clients closer to the sale. When incorrectly used, however, a CRM can be tedious, time consuming, confusing, and actually hurt your chances of making the sale. But I'm sure you're thinking, well then how do you correctly set up a CRM? Well, my friend, you've come to the right place. A basic CRM collects the following information. Company name, contact name, email, phone number, stage in the sales cycle, and notes. There's a lot of CRMs out there that collect way more information than that, but for the sake of this video, we'll keep it simple. Now, if we think about the buyer journey, we have a cold lead, a warm lead, someone who just booked a call, someone who you've met with, someone making a decision, and then you have your customer. And every customer, I don't care who you are, if you do a two-step close, the customer goes from cold lead to warm lead, to booking a call, to attending the call, to having a second call, and then they become a customer. And all of this is attached to your contact within your CRM. So my partner can call me and say, yo, Drew Peacock, what's the deal with this guy? I can go to my CRM, look up his contact and find out that he's had a discovery call and the closing call is scheduled for next Tuesday at 2 p.m. All of that's in the CRM. But the problem is, in order to record this information, you have to manually add it to your CRM. And when you have hundreds of leads per month, this can be a full-time job in and of itself and distract you from the things that actually make you money. That's why I'm gonna show you how to automate entering contact information into your CRM and following up with those people until they close completely on autopilot. 
All right, guys, so we are on the computer, and before I show you how to automate your CRM, I wanted to show you how we're able to book calls without going back and forth trying to figure out the date and time. So for this, we use a platform called Calendly. We're not affiliated. It just works pretty well with our system, and it allows the prospect to book a date and time without having to do the back and forth dance. And what I like most about Calendly is that you can integrate text and email follow-ups periodically before the prospect jumps on the call. So what we do at Simpliscale is send over our VSL, which essentially pre-sells the prospect before they hop on the call. If you don't know what a VSL is, it stands for Video Sales Letter, and it essentially is a video that sells your product or service. And so if you open up your Calendly um, communication settings, you can go over to Email Reminders, click Edit, and then you can see this is what our email reminders look like. So have that there, the reminder with the VSL link to make sure they're pre-sold before they hop on the call. So now that we have that set up, let's head over to make.com. And make.com is an automation platform that allows you to build advanced automation workflows without needing to learn how to code. So once we open up make, we'll hit new scenario. So if we go to scenarios here, we can click create a new scenario. And we'll set our trigger as watch events in Calendly. So we'll give this a sec to load. So I already have this set up. So we choose watch events. And so every single time someone books a call through Calendly, it'll go ahead and trigger this automation. Okay. So we'll give it a quick test run. So if we click run once and then let's view this live page. We'll book a call for tomorrow at three. Nick. Oh. IO Nick test. We're just going to NA out all these fields just so you can see what it looks like. Cool. All right, we're going to click schedule event. We'll head over to our make.com automation and we can see that as soon as the event is scheduled, it runs the automation. So first the trigger was set off. It's going to then get all of the fields associated with that call booking. So we have like the name, the questions and answers, and we can go ahead and pull that directly into our Airtable. Uh, so Airtable is our CRM. And whenever someone books a call, it's going to update our opportunities tab. It's going to put their name in there. Uh, it's going to set the status to calls or call booked. It's going to put the source of the opportunity. Uh, so in this case, I said Instagram. It's going to get the contact name, the contact email, the contact phone number, and then it's going to update the date in which they booked uh, within Airtable. So for you to take a look at that real quick. This is our Airtable CRM. And so if we scroll down to the call booked area, we can see Nick test. We see that the opportunity source was Instagram. It was open today. So the call was booked today. And then we have the notes tab uh, updated with the, the date of today. Email, phone number. So we're good to go there. So that's a super simple automation to get your Calendly booked appointments directly into your CRM. Now let's talk about automated follow-ups. So this is a little bit more complex, but nothing too crazy. So if we go back to Airtable, there's an automations tab up here. So if we click this, and essentially what we want to do is when a prospect no-shows the call, we want it to initiate an automation. So we have our prospect already in our CRM. They're planning on coming to the call, but instead of coming on it, they no-show. So when that happens, I can just go ahead and update the status to no-show. And as soon as I update the status, it's going to trigger this automation 
within Airtable. So when the record matches no show, it's going to run this particular script. So if we take a look at the script here, and guys, don't worry, I'm going to copy and paste this into a doc and uh, we'll leave it at the bottom uh, of the description here for you to access. But you can just take this, um, this code right here and then paste in a webhook URL. And that's essentially going to take the data within your Airtable uh, record that says no show. So the name, the email, the phone number, everything within that record, and it's going to send it over to this webhook. So on the back end of this, we have a make.com automation, and this webhook is going to catch the data that is sent over from Airtable. And from there, it's going to parse out their first name. So in Airtable, we have the full name. So it says Nick Cornelius. We're then going to take that, parse out just the first name. So it says Nick, and then it's going to send out an email. So here, the subject line is going to be missed opportunity. It's going to take the email directly from Airtable, from the data that's sent over from that uh, automation, uh, at, from the automation, from the, from the script. And then it's sending the email saying, hi, Nick, missed you during our process auto call today. You can rebook a time to meet at the following link. And then it has the link to the process audit. And then looking forward to getting you dialed in with time-saving automations. Cheers, Nick. And that's it. So as soon as we change over our status to, let's see, we'll change our test record over to no-show. Now it's going to run the automation and send an email over to my email. I'll go ahead and open a new tab and show you that. Cool, right here, missed opportunity. Hi, Nick, missed you during our process audit call today. You can rebook a time to meet at the following link here. Looking forward to getting you dialed in with time-saving automations. Cheers, Nick. We can click here. And we can see they can easily rebook. And so you can do this for anything, right? It's not just no-shows. You can do this with closed one deals to actually onboard your customers into your program. You can do this with prospects that you want to nurture with a newsletter. Uh, you could do this to get testimonials from your clients. So it's not just limited to no-shows and you can trigger pretty much any automation from your CRM. So that pretty much wraps up this video. If you have any questions, just drop them in the comments. And if you wanna get this installed directly in your business and not have to jump to the hoops of learningmake.com, how to build systems and then actually set it up yourself, and you wanna gain expertise from our collective 15 years of industry experience, there's a link in the description to book a call with us. And at the very least, we'll give you some free sauce. Otherwise, I would really appreciate it if you could leave a like and subscribe so you could see more content just like this. And I will see you in the next video.